If you're looking for the best top three altcoins for May of 2021, then you're in the right place. Welcome back, Crypto Fiends. Thank you as always for tuning in. If you are new here, which 86% of you are, consider subscribing and turning on post notifications so you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest in the cryptocurrency space. And don't forget to leave a like and comment on the video so you can be entered in for your chance to win a Ledger Nano S. We only have three more to give away, and the next winner will be announced this Saturday coming up. Now, before we dive into our top three picks for May, let's take a look at how our previous three in the month of April performed. Starting off with our first pick, we had Unibright. Although this recent market dump took a good amount of the gains away from us, Unibright surprisingly held up rather well, giving us a solid 88% increase with a monthly high of 150%. Moving on to our second pick, we chose Centropy, closing the month out with a 40% increase and a monthly high of 78%. And lastly, Uniswap with a 26% increase and a monthly high of 42%. Overall, I'd say we got some respectable gains for the month of April. But looking at the bright side with this recent market dip, this provides us investors with the opportunity to get in much lower than expected, making the potential upside for the month of May all that much greater. So let's go ahead and check out my top three altcoins for May. Starting off the list, we have one recently discussed on the channel and also the most recent addition to my portfolio. Smart Key, focused on being the missing part of the puzzle that connects the world of DeFi and blockchain with the world of physical assets. But what does that technically mean? The Smart Key platform combines Oracle 2 generation technology with blockchain of things technology creating new functionalities and business processes dedicated to the sharing economy of the 21st century. For example, digital contracts that give access to specific values, such as an office space, home rental, or even parking and car sharing systems. The main issue right now is that decentralized finance needs to use fiat gateways, such as exchange offices or centralized exchange. These act as intermediaries in the process of exchanging services and assets and ultimately limit the world of DeFi. But luckily, that's exactly what SmartKey is solving via automated secure connection of DeFi smart contracts with external services. So why does SmartKey have my interest for the month of May? Recently, SmartKey announced their official testnet release date for dedicated smart NFTs, which will be on May 15th. This will essentially be the start of their entire ecosystem truly coming to life. And you know what comes after a testnet? Yes, the mainnet. And considering the rapid rate that the Smart Keys development team gets things done, I wouldn't be surprised if their mainnet goes live in a few months time. Also, with their cloud connector and wallet in their final testing stages, those could come very soon after the testnet launch also. And do remember, SmartKey and Chainlink have been working very closely since the beginning, and the two have been pretty quiet lately. So maybe that could mean something big is happening behind the scenes? I don't know, but what I do know is that the S-Key token is extremely undervalued right now, with its current price sitting at a measly $0.27 cents and roughly a $80 million market cap. This gem looks ready for a turnaround if you ask me, and there's nothing more satisfying than knowing you timed the bottom. Before jumping into our next pick, I want to briefly tell you about today's video sponsor, Market Square. They recently published a video called The Blockchains of Ready Player One. This in-depth video explains how blockchain can power something similar to what was portrayed in the Ready Player One movie, and how blockchain is currently powering real games, NFTs, VR experiences, and oracles as well. If you want to have your mind blown like mine was, and learn how Market Square is about to disrupt the gaming industry, then I will leave a link down below to that video if you'd like to check it out. Next on the list, we have one of our previous picks from March, coming back for the month of May, Orion Protocol. For those not familiar, Orion is building the decentralized gateway to the digital asset market. The Layer 2 solution enables users access to deep cross-chain liquidity in one place across decentralized exchanges, centralized, and swap pools, providing access to the best price in the market without the need to ever give up your assets. 
Orion seeks to solve the fragmentation of crypto markets, NFT marketplaces, and assets from traditional finance, like stocks, by eventually aggregating them all into one place, the Orion Terminal. If you'd like to check out my in-depth review on Orion, I will leave it linked down below, and the same also applies to Smart Key as well. Okay, so why is Orion on the list for May? Well, for starters, if you aren't aware, Orion has already successfully launched their terminal on March 31st, where anyone anywhere can trade and swap a handful of cryptos throughout many exchanges, all without losing control of your keys. Now, something to know is that Orion is growing at an extremely fast rate right now, with over 100,000 users within seconds of their terminal launch. They are continuing to add asset support day by day by holding community votes, and will also be integrating many blockchains in quarter two, including Elrond, Avalanche, Polkadot, and Huobi EcoChain, making Orion hands down the best place to trade in the entire crypto industry, while remaining 100% decentralized and KYC free. Now what's truly exciting for Orion, which will be going live before the end of May, is their governance staking, which is honestly the most ambitious staking launch I have ever seen in crypto. And you damn well know I'm gonna be a part of it. Orion has a beautiful staking calculator on their website where you can get an idea as to what your staked ORN could generate yearly. Although it most likely won't be this accurate once actual staking goes live due to all these parameters changing every second, it's still fun to mess around with and see what your potential passive income could be. Now what really makes the ORN token enticing right now is the 53% correction it had over the past 30 days. Most people would stay away from a downturning altcoin, but me personally, when I see a company with extremely strong fundamentals and a bottoming out altcoin along with it, I simply can't buy enough. Sitting at roughly $14, I believe similarly to SmartKey that Orion is soon to begin a rapid uptrend again, as it did just bottom out at $10.50. With its all-time high being nearly $30, I think it's very probable with everything launching in May that the ORN token can crush through that level once again and push towards the $50 mark by the end of May. For those that don't know, Unibright was actually my number one top pick cryptocurrency for all of 2021, and for dozens of reasons. Unibright makes it easy to integrate blockchain technology into existing businesses through an integrated framework for platform-based enterprise integration. They are template-based and are targeting all areas of business that can choose a template for their desired use case, customize the integrated workflow, generate code, connect their existing landscape, and keep an eye on the ongoing business process. Most recently, Unibright alongside Provide, their joint partner, released Base Ledger, which is a public permission council-governed blockchain network that fulfills the major requirements of enterprise organizations. This essentially is the most advanced and compliant blockchain network for major enterprises in the world and truly is the first of its kind to focus on enterprises alone. Okay, so that's great and all, but what enterprises are actually using their products? Well, that, my friend, is when things get ludicrous. Unibright and Provide very nonchalantly announced a handful of clients that will be utilizing Base Ledger and their other products. These mind-blowing clients included Microsoft, Google, Ernst & Young, Accenture, and Target which have a combined 2020 revenue of over half a trillion freaking dollars. And that's not including their already well-established clients like ServiceNow with $4.5 in revenue and Coke One North America raking in $21 billion in 2020. Less than 48 hours ago, Stefan, the CTO, released an update to the community, sharing current developments underway, including the interface for Base Ledger, which is being polished alongside the Base Ledger app, which is the first time we are hearing about this product. And from the info given, it appears that this will be utilized for Base Ledger nodes, which will most likely play into UBT staking, which they further stated that the interface towards UBT token implementation for the proof of stake mechanisms is also a key focus. Stefan went on to state that there are some new strategic leads for their Frequity product and potential strategic partnerships around Enterprise DeFi. 
Most recently at the EEA virtual conference on April 22nd, the CEO of Provide Kyle Thomas alongside Nicola Attico at ServiceNow had a live presentation of the full integration of Provide's tech into the ServiceNow stack. This gave us an idea as to how ServiceNow's clients such as Adidas, Discover Card, and thousands more will be able to utilize digital workflows, deploy contracts, and enable layer two capabilities. The last and most recent discovery for Unibright comes from a fellow YouTuber, Chico Crypto, whom actually was one of the first YouTubers to discover Unibright and their deep ties to major enterprises such as Coke One North America. Posted on April 23rd, Tyler from Chico Crypto dives deep into what appears to be a connection between Unibright and Coca-Cola FEMSA, which for those that are not aware is based throughout Latin America and is the largest Coca-Cola bottler in the world. What originally started as trials with Coke One North America appears to be quickly turning into potentially the entire Coca-Cola bottling supply chain getting baselined. So what does that mean for the price of the UBT token? Well, as Tyler said, they are able to get the whole Coca-Cola supply chain on the baseline protocol. I mean, Unibright's going to be one of the most invaluable tokens in cryptocurrency. So, And when taking a look at UBT's recent drop compared to the rest of the market, we can clearly see that investors are holding strong and taking advantage at the sub $2 level. As of now, we don't have specifics as to what products these new clients will be taking advantage of, but what we do know is that the universal business token is the only way to pay for them, meaning that Google, Microsoft, and all others will be buying up UBT to use Base Ledger, Frequity, and all other tech stacks. So what are your thoughts on my top three picks for May? Is there a crypto I missed that you believe will outperform most in the month of May? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. And if you found this video informative and want to see more like this, let me know by leaving a like on the video. Thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you in the next.